And welcome back to the episode of Megalobox. Well, not another, but special. It's the last episode. Fuck you. Yeah. I guess all fucking journeys have a home to end to. And that, I mean, fuck you. Yeah. yeah, but last time, episode 12. Nice little build up to uh, this final episode, I would say. It didn't have, you know, much substance, but great not even not tying but laying of the knots but yeah let's just get uh, to the final episode so we're starting from chief's village but before that el con alas eliva sin alas e e el sin alas benedice el al con alas did i just say a spell Oh, in the way, in three, oh, in, oh, sweeter, in three, two, one, go. The match. <laughs> it's just the rollout without, without saying anything. Yep, it's the gear you gave him. Hmm. Yep. He ain't fucking being as stupid as he was in fucking when I was climbing the ranks. Is a public here. Hopefully it ends well. Is she controlling the chip? She didn't write change, she just fucking <laughs> found out the truth. Yeah, uh, probably a trained response. Coming bird. Hmm. I guess, yeah. Hmm. So then we talk about not throwing a punch. <laughs> yeah, he still needs the box. Yeah. No, oh, we really just we really need a neither opening for the last episode. Hmm. Is there something special about this last opening, or is this just gonna be a normal one? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's no one. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, I guess it makes sense for like broadcasting on TV that the opening should still be on last episode, but whenever like watching it like this, much preferred without and just have the opening integrated into the uh, prologue of the episode. But then again, I guess since Megalobox Megalobox isn't a march to tomorrow's show, you know, an old ass manga anime. Having an opening ending uh, on the last episode does feel a bit, you know, old school. I just thought, is there restrictions on like what the announcers are allowed to say, or maybe like would say? Better said. Because, yeah, obviously there's the common rule of don't be a fuckwit and say horrible shit on the goddamn public announcement announcer. But in these situations, in like match commentating during the match, and I'm gonna guess the audience here and that both teams can hear them. Maybe. Maybe not. Like, how much... Like, like how much how much detail are they allowed to go into of like the enemy strategy and such things? Because obviously, if they reset, some commentators could be very experienced into what the fuck the unboxer might do. Now, obviously, they shouldn't probably leak the information or strategy of the opponents. Don't make a boring fight. Oh yeah, since I'm bad. Hmm. Yep. Genuine surprise? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Your hero. Hmm. All right. Fully trying to take responsibility, at least. Ah, staying. Then again, these type of people. I don't think these two will ever blame you personally for doing this. They'll blame Roscoe first. Like obviously you're not not responsible.
but you're not entirely to blame either. Bit shady, don't you think? Yeah, everyone has to someday. A lot of the time, it's just dying. What for? Quote unquote, funding you with fucking falsified evidence. Sure, she's not, not responsible, but you are more fucking responsible for this than her. <laughs> Again. <sighs> A lot of times, in like bad situations, everyone is to blame, but someone is more to blame than others. And comparatively, uh, quite a few times, only panic attack. And a lot of times, a lot of people just only blame the worst person instead of, you know, sitting there thinking in third person, who the f uh, in, in third party and thinking, what the hell is act the actual share between the blame between all of us? Ah, uh, this scene again. Fine, listening. Hmm. Satchio's voice. That's what it got got him back up. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but you're doing it in a fucking shitty way. You're you you're manufacturing a shitty ass hope. Quote unquote hope. <sighs> mm, yeah, that's, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so Max still can't see the good in it. It's just, yeah, obviously the way he's doing it is bad. Hmm. Oh. Well, there's a reason why she's the president of the fucking one of the biggest companies in this universe. Life. No, no. Trigger. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, bird. Don't let it take over, but let it guide you. Yeah, home. <laughs> Both the first health bars down.
<laughs> hey, you already know us. Well, that means you're gonna fucking need to drag Joe back out if that, that's the match with Joe you really want. But that would need no he controlling it hmm. he's finally entered his actual zone Chief. It's quite dead yet. It's the one this is seen from quote unquote the opening. <laughs> yeah, that didn't do a lot. <laughs> yeah, to do it. <sighs> Not the most climactic endings, but yeah. <laughs> but this story ain't about a climactic ending. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, actually getting a bit teary eyed. It's having a good match. Did this Definitely what how the match with Lou should have gone. Well, kind of. Oh, so you're kind of open sourcing this shit. You're, well, not quite open source, but you know. Just. But here's the problem with that. This technology could be bad in the wrong hand. They did not. <laughs> 
It didn't uh, agree to the deal. Okay. Oh, the subtitles. The sneaker shop? Hmm. What's the sneaker stuff? I forgot. I'm not sure it was like a big part of unveiling the scandal that it's just... Is it special for Asamoto? That name? <laughs> nah, good or reliable fucking wrench is good anywhere. He'll find his way home again. <laughs> sure. Kids. <laughs> the fuck's a pose? Are you gonna Jojo for? Oh, wait, she's... Oh, that's the penalty. She stepped down as CEO. That can make sense. Those wings carry the wingless and with the surplus by the wingless. Hmm. Mm hmm. I guess a nice season. Big up wood carving. <laughs> Be a good boy. <laughs> Going back. Mm. Not yet. Yeah, like. Special lecture. Mm. Mm. Something you remember, but it's an old ass picture from the nowhere thing. <laughs> No, it's a new picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I give it. Don't let it get us, get stolen by fucking youngin. They'll take it apart. Yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, this is a good season. It's very good. It's a nice contrast, well not even contrast, but just, just a position to season one of Megalo Box. Like, in season one we had pretty much only one goal and we, like, we spearheaded, well not spearhead, and followed true to that goal in one line. It was a very simple uh, but quite fun story. But now we have you know, the fallout of a simple and fine story, a more complex undertone of what happens afterwards. This is really, it's a great just a position, not a contrast. I, I would like to use that word because I don't see this as like the opposite of season one, but just taking elements of season one and showing what's beneath it all but like the whole thing of season with season one comparing to that is as i said before season one felt real very much like a straight line but this one felt like there's no end there's oh pretty much no you know destination they really tried to achieve to is just joe trying to you know do what the fuck he thinks is right. Hey, fucking meeting chief, fucking coming back, but doesn't really have a clear goal to make it up to his family. It's all just so... It's just so... Uh... Nice. It's just good. The, also the whole hummingbird teaming it's also quite nice though and i guess that's the one true line to the whole season really the well obviously it's not the only true line but it's kind of what ties mac joe and chief stories together it's just the hummingbird going back home and and home to come back to <sighs> These type of stories never get old. And will never get old. In any age, any time, people will suffer from this type of problem. So, yeah. Well, for the rest, I have not much else to say apart from what I have had said throughout the, this whole show. So, I guess with that said, that's it for this season or the series and i will see you guys in the next dimension bye bye and here are the people who decided to sell out their souls <laughs> welcome to hell <laughs>